Money Weekly Online is talking to Brian Gilbertson and Arnie Franson of Pallinghurst, the JSE listed company that's in platinum, steel making and also gems. There are three precious gemstones, emeralds, rubies and sapphires. In emeralds we have built the equivalent of what De Beers did in diamonds. We are now producing rubies in Mozambique. The first auction, modelled very much on the lines of the emerald auctions, will take place before the end of uh, June. We will then be in two of the key uh, gemstones. All our production is ethically sourced. The share price, I, I think it is a low three years ago, four years ago, of something like three pence. It's up at, I think, 38 today. That's just on the emeralds because the rubies are still to, to kick in. Fabergé, in, in what was viewed as the deal of the year on, in the London market last year, was taken over by Gem Fields. The car gem mine now produces between a fifth and a quarter to 20-25% of the entire world's emeralds. Whereas back then people maybe looked down on them a bit and said if you want good emeralds you should get Colombian emeralds. They don't say that anymore. We have transformed the pricing process through a system of auctions which every time we run an auction the prices have gone higher as people have come to believe that it actually works and is uh, no skullduggery anywhere, that it's absolutely transparent. We publish the prices within, I don't know, hours if not minutes of, of, of the auction being completed. And of course we've had this wonderful exposure now to the end consumer, the, the wealthy buyers of, of precious stone jewelry. Um, you've seen the superstar models walking into the Oscars wearing our emeralds. Color is very much in. The progress has been simply remarkable. That was Mining Weekly Online talking to Pallinghurst, a company listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange.